Harry and Meghan, officially desperate with disastrous response on a $100 million contract, could vanish entirely. When Prince Harry and Meghan Markle first stepped down as working royals, there were questions about how the couple would support themselves in America. The Sussexes soon removed any doubt about their ability to provide for themselves by signing a series of lucrative media deals. Now, over two years later, streaming services and bookstores are soon to be flooded by a deluge of content from the Duke and Duchess of Montecito. Netflix has reportedly postponed the release of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's at-home docuseries until 2023, following backlash against a season 5 plotline on the streamer's hugely popular show, The Crown. The company's execs were allegedly so rattled by the incident that they decided to push back the unofficial premiere of Harry and Meghan's docuseries, which had been slated to debut in December on the heels of The Crown Season 5. Prince Harry has no control over the storyline or material included in Netflix's The Crown, despite his partnership with the streaming platform, a source has claimed. They even suggested the Duke of Sussex had no idea how he would be portrayed in the upcoming season of the popular show. The world may think that Prince Harry's deal with us means he has some control on the company's output, but it's not the case. He has some say in the content he produces for them, but outside of that the company remains independent. And one key aspect of that is the crown. Harry has no control over what storylines or material Left Bank put together for the crown. Left Bank Pictures is an independent production company which has been working on the crown since its first season. After claiming the crown has no part of the Duke's remit, the source also said, not only that, Harry does not have input in the scripts or narrative of the show, either directly through Left Back or indirectly through Netflix. The Duke has no opportunity to send over to The Crown's writers his ideas or suggestions either. Apparently, the season 5 episode of The Crown that uh, caused this shitstorm in the first place is titled Queen Victoria Syndrome. The name alludes to the former monarch's lengthy 63-year reign. The reason? There's allegedly a plotline featured suggesting that in 1991, King Charles III complained to UK Prime Minister John Major about having to wait to take over the throne, which the politician recently insisted never happened and described as malicious nonsense. That said, at the time, there was an actual poll that ran in the UK. One source arguing both that one, the monarchy was dated and two, Queen Elizabeth should abdicate the throne in favour of her son. The Crown's fifth season episode allegedly riffs off that real-life event and features scenes of King Charles portrayed by Dominic West secretly agreeing with a passage in the paper that reads, An ageing monarch, too long on the throne, whose remoteness from the modern world has led people to grow tired, not just of her, but of the monarchy itself. It also allegedly depicts a meeting set up by Charles to meet with the Prime Minister, wherein the royal expresses how much he relates to the story of Edward VII being kept waiting in the wings for decades due to Queen Victoria's long rule. Previously, royal insiders have come out and said the family deems all of season 5 quite exploitative, since it also focuses on portraying the king's former marriage to Princess Diana. What people forget is that there are real human beings and real lives at the heart of this, one source close with King Charles said. Interestingly enough, Netflix stated today, there has never been any documentary from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex confirmed to be on the streamer in the first place. However, this source originally reported that the docuseries was in the midst of being created, and it has also said it did exist and was filmed at the couple's Montecito home, with the Sussexes serving as executive producers through their production company Archwell. Honestly, I have no thoughts other than stay tuned.